the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masok, has frowned at public invitation extended to it by the leadership of Ohaneze Indubu, saying it is unaccepted to be invited publicly for internal Igbo security affairs. This came as the leadership of Biafra Independence Movement, IBM, has described those perpetrating violence in the southeast as anti Igbo's element. This is even as the Ebony State Government yesterday directed the closure of all illegal and private motor parks not expressly approved by the Ministry of Capital City Development in its bid to checkmate the movement of all arms and ammunition and general insecurity within the Abakaliki metropolis. In a relation and related development, former Speaker ECOWAS Parliament Senator Mao Uhuabunwa has queried the reasonability of the security agencies hunting for suspected members of the Eastern Security Network ESN in the Southeast while bandits are and terrorists are sacking communities in the north and taking over their central lands almost unchallenged. The Biafra agitating group Masop, in its admonition to Ohanese, urged the apex group of Igbos to be diplomatic in its approaches on issues of Igbo interest. The group, in a short statement signed by the leader, Comrade Uchena Madu said, It is unacceptable to Masop to be invited publicly for an Igbo internal security affairs. Ohanese Indubo should be sensitive and diplomatic in its approach concerning issues that matter so much in Igbo interest in Nigeria. They should avoid the situation where Abuja political carbars hijack any meaningful ventures or step that will redeem Indubo from subjective slavery in Nigeria. Masob as a stakeholder in Igbo project will always align with relevant and Igbo organizations and individuals in protecting and securing the future of our people. The security of the lives and properties of Indubo is paramount now. Ohani is Indubo should not play politics with our future. Perpetrators of violence in Southeast are anti Igbo, IBM. Ebony closes illegal private motor parks. In a joint press statement signed by Chief Oyekachi, Oyekachi pardon, Nweboyi, Commissioner for Capital City Development, and Chief Anthony Okwewa, Chairman National Road National Union, pardon, of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, Ebony State Council, the duo explained that uncovered security and Unprecautionary measures were being put in place to avert further security breaches in the state. According to them, in view of the rising insecurity in the country, the Ministry of Capital City Development, Ebony State, has directed that all loading and offloading of vehicles within the state capital should only take place in approved public and private motor parks. This is in a bid to check every movement of arms and ammunition as well as criminal elements in and out of the state as uncovered security and precautionary measures are being put in place to abat further security breaches in the state. To end this, all illegal and private motor parks not expressly approved by the Ministry of capital city development are hereby closed. Motorists and travelers are therefore advised to adhere, adhere strictly to this directive as anyone found contravening the order will be treated as a security threat and will be prosecuted accordingly. Passengers boarding commercial vehicles or alighting from such vehicles at unauthorized places, that is, any place other than the approved public and private parks, will be arrested alongside the drivers.
also parking of vehicle along Apipo Road, Ogoja Road, Waterworks Road, Nkali Road, Nkaliki Road, and Enugun Abakaliki Ogoja Expressway are hereby banned. Any vehicle parked along the aforementioned roads, whether serviceable or unserviceable, will be sophisticated by the Ministry of Capital City Development and the owner prosecuted accordingly. It is important to note that parking of heavy vehicles along the, the, the streets in the capital city is highly prohibited. No truck, lorry or any form of articulated vehicle is expected to park along the street for whatever reasons. Any such vehicle found along the road or street will be confiscated and the owner or driver will also you know be prosecuted government has designated parks for all form of commercial and industrial vehicles in the state tippers and heavy duty vehicles have their parks at ochudo centenary city opposite margaret umahi international market abakaliki there is also a mega park beside Akanu Ibiam flyover in Abakaliki also. The ministry in collaboration with the National Union of Road Transport Workers NURTW is working out modalities to ensure maximum security in the parks. Nigeria crossing on highway Senator who spoke on the heel of media reports and confirmations by some northern governors that terrorists have now taken over many communities in the region, seizing people's wives, said Nigeria is crushing on a highway to bias. Abyss, pardon, he said that hunting for suspected personnel of ESN who are resisting the invasion of eastern communities by bandits and killers headsmen while bandits on killing spree occupied terrorists raised some curious questions the former leader of house of representatives warned that the current security situation in the country if not properly handled could plunge nigeria into civil unrest senator Onwabua, who strongly condemned attack against security Commission in the zone, however, said that indiscriminate arrest of suspected sponsors of unknown gunmen without proper investigation could make innocent citizens suffer for what they don't know. He challenged members of the National Assembly to rise to their constitutional responsibilities of oversight function and call the security agencies to order. Obi said, who said that what happened in the country in few months time was dependent on statecraft advised the president to immediately begin the process of healing among nigerians by taking to them and by taking courageous action aimed at reassuring all the regions that they are still part of the country if you can see obviously in obese world mr president can do this convincingly by immediately seeking real balance in his appointment by taking immediately action against those that have become notorious in killing and maiming few and fellow nigerians obi also concluded by calling on different warring factions to lay down their arms and give peace a chance nigeria belongs to all of us we cannot build by destroying especially no matter that can still be solved through dialogue let nigerian dialogue among themselves now will be submitted we have heard what obi has said what is your own stay what is your own reaction to what has been said do you think dialogue among ourselves can you know solve what is happening we all know that nigerian belongs to all of us and we cannot destroy we can only continue to build and we cannot build 
by destroying, especially on matters that can still be solved through dialogue. Well, we would like to know your own thoughts and reaction about what has been said so far. We have heard that Masop frowns at investigation and invitation to peace meeting by Ohani Oze. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.